All right, what's going on, guys? We're getting ready to uh, put a dedicated Motorsports C6 E85 sensor. Uh, basically, it's just a GM sensor, flex fuel sensor, and they just made a quick connect harness for it. It's just plug and play. I'll show you real quick. Um, basically, this is it right here. It comes with the AN fittings and everything you need, and this just snaps on, everything plugs into your factory setup, fuel rails, and everything. Uh, the only thing you gotta do is this right here plugs in between the coil packs, I believe. And then you got one wire right here, which we gotta run to the passenger side real quick and take the uh, splash guard off. So They're on my side by side. So all you gotta do is take a splash guard out. Is basically, as you can see, it's just the pushing clips. You just pop it out and then pull it out. It's pretty easy. All right, on the bottom of the splash guard, you're gonna have 10 millimeter bolts, and then you're gonna have some. Uh, we're using a 9 30 seconds, but the correct size would probably be a 7 millimeter. We got the uh, dedicated motorsports sensor wired in on the J1 connector on the C6. Uh, basically, it's this black wire right here that I'm moving. That's pin 40 location. If you look over here to the side, you can see 53. And you're going to come over here. The purple wire is going to be 52. You count backwards down. That'll give you 40 right there. Uh, when you do that, if you look right there on this, uh, next to the yellow to the right, you'll see it's got a blank in there. Basically, that blank is that right there you've got to knock that out and to do that you need to get like a a pin or something a small needle like that and then come through the back side of the connector and poke it through to pop that out and when you do that it'll open up that hole and then you just slide that wire right in and it clips no big deal so as you guys can tell the uh, dedicated motorsports e85 sensor is fairly simple to install uh, it basically just uh, plugs in between your fuel lines, so you just unclip those from the factory rails and you use one side to feed the side to go into one side and the other side goes to the fuel rail. And then the wiring is fairly simple as well as it just plugs in between the cool packs. Uh, then you take your other wire and you plug it into your E38 ECM pin 40 J1 connector and that's all there is to it. Uh, basically guys, if you like this video, subscribe to us, give us a thumbs up and give us some feedback, some comments, anything you got need to know, just uh, post them down below and we'll try to get to them. Uh, later on, we will do a video on how to en enable this stuff into uh, HP tuners. But until next time, guys, talk to you later. See ya.